Kurt Dwarf Ling and his wife Holly moved to the Yukon last summer. They found a deal near the old Alaska Highway in Ibex Valley. $400 a month for a cabin was just too good to pass up. They were in for a surprise when they moved in. There was uh, dead baby rotten chickens in the floor that um, were like rotting and we had to scrape that up. Dwarfling says the cabin had no running water, proper insulation, functioning toilet access or electricity. He provided CBC News with photos of the site. They show garbage strewn across the property and inside buildings. The couple say they cleared up the place at their own expense. Over the winter, Dorfling says he was about to go on social assistance. That didn't happen, but he says the landlord told him that he would increase his rent. That's despite a law that limits rent increases to 5% a year. The Yukon Residential Tenancies Office says tenants should get in touch. If a landlord tries to increase rent by more than 5% or if a rental unit fails to meet minimum standards. They also urge tenants to reach out to the Human Rights Commission if they feel discriminated against based on social assistance. Basically <laughs> doubling our rent, like, you know, going from 400 to 900 and you don't get a lot of money on social assistance, so uh -huh. he kind of just seen it as a way to make extra money, I guess. The Dwarflings did not have a written rental agreement. Michael Coleridge is the landlord. If they're on welfare, they have to pay more because of all the the, the problems they cause, and if you contact the welfare office, they are aware of that as well. I have nothing to hide, sir. Coleridge says there are tenants on his property who can vouch for his character. The Dorflings moved out on Monday. They are now living in a trailer. Ross Anfarugugo, CBC News, Ibex Valley.